Oh, were you waiting for me to start? I sure was. Oh, heavens. <laughs> you know, those awkward pauses in life, they sure do bring a lot of fun. Oh, they sure do. And this young man right here knows how to do a good awkward pause. I'm Najneb. And I'm Askaja. We're back here, and we're here to give you a review on week number two. Number two? <laughs> Excuse me, I might have swallowed a mosquito. <laughs> You're big. We're out here in the woods. All right, how did week two start off? Well, let's see. When we last left you, we had uh, had a lovely Sunday with uh, Derek. I don't have to redo. Well, just I'm just trying to, record, I'm trying to enough, record. I'm trying to record well, myself. Well, you if you just would have let me go on through this, we wouldn't even spend all this time arguing. <laughs> Oh but my. no, you have to make a point. Anyways, we him. had just spent with Derek and Stephanie Faye. Shh, let's go forward. And I know. And now we're picking up on the Monday. Monday. And on the Monday, That's right. there's a car driving by. I think it's a Hyundai. It might be a little loud. Anyways, those South Koreans, they know how to make them cars. Mm. Uh, anyways, on the Monday, we decided to get out the old wrap. Well, it was already out. Let's be honest. We strapped it at the top of the truck one more time. That's I may have right. thrown out my back doing so, but we did we it. We sure did. He was quite fragile for a few days, so it was a good job that I am so incredibly awesome on those sticks. Anyways, sticks. Yep. We got out the raft. We went down to below the island part in Bayham. That's right. Box Canyon. To a place called the Box Canyon. Which are young... Sackle? Sackle. He, he does not believe it is a canyon. He thought it was more of a... Valley. Valley. I personally think it's a canyon. That, that was the topic of conversation that was the topic for of conversation. the whole ride. <laughs> Anyways, there was plenty of fly fishermen down there. Not tons, but there was plenty of fly fishermen. That's right. We had a lovely float. We did catch some fish, too. Yeah, now, it took this a little bit to man, go in. He caught some mini, mini, mini fish. And I, then, started like, the, a big fish. I started the trip by catching a two-incher. That's right. And then he progressed to a three-incher big time. <sighs> and that's what I'm about in life, progression. That's right. Anyways, uh, we went through the Box Canyon. We had a beautiful time. It was a bit more windy than the other days. It was mm. a little bit cooler. Yeah, we wore our, our jackets. Yep. And then uh, we caught some fish. The boys all caught fish on flies. They all caught fish on lures. That's right. The flies were the ticket. Ticket. There weren't any stone flies out there. No, there was not. Because I think it was a little too high. A little too early. Little too That's early. right. Why and was then, a little too cold? what do we do? We headed to the Great Yellowstone. Well, first we moved our trailer up to the Valley View RV Park. It was That's the first right. time we have ever stayed in an RV park. In America. In America. America. And uh, I would oh, say it was. America. I would say it was decent. That's right. There was a laundromat, which we did quite a few loads of laundry in. Yes. And a very nice fellow with very few teeth that yes. asked me while I was singing if I had a CD for him. That's Jessica. That's right. I did not. Sorry, have your one. name's not Jessica. It's Askja. Askja. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Uh, from there, we went up to Yellowstone. We spent two days in Yellowstone. First day, we did the North Loop. Mm -hmm. South. Second day, we did the South Loop. And it was the year of the bison. They were bison My, everywhere. They were here, there, everywhere. They had just been birthing. Birthing baby bison. Birthing Imagine baby that. Bison. Not so baby, baby elk. bison. They were mighty protected. We saw mostly, we saw the baby bison, but the bull, the bison that we saw close were mostly bulls. That's right. They walked right by the car. Oh my, we have to tell them about that real close bison encounter. We was on one big loop, walking past all these geysers. Geysers? Geysers. That's right. Geyser is a man. I believe man. that's how the uh, Gaza is the earth it. thing. And we was coming around, and our car was just yonder. And before we got to our car, there was two bison just feet off the path. And did we walk past them? You know we did. Did we touch them? We did not. Because when we entered the park, there was a flyer that said, do not touch bison. It had and a picture we, of an Asian being speared by one. That's <laughs> Let's be honest, That folks. is rat. Right. That's exactly and what were it was. we going to be speared? Well, I did wonder at one point if we were going to be speared, but we did not, and we went on our way. Yep, so we had a good time there. The north loop wasn't fully, uh, part of the road was under construction. You couldn't go, so you couldn't do the full loop, but no, that's okay. That's sad. And we did the south loop, and the south loop was real nice, and we saw Old Faithful. And he was still faithful, and not quite as faithful. But, but faithful, faithful nonetheless. You know, probably as faithful as an East Coaster. Not as faithful as a West <laughs> that Coaster. That is right. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, um, then what do we do? Oh, we took that road. That road to the Medicine Lodge. Tell oh, them about right. that. 
That's right. We decided to uh, pack up the trailer from the Valley View RV Park. Say yonder, friends. And we went down the Yale Kilgore Road. Yale Kilgore. Or Kilgore Road. Yale Road. I don't there know which is There was a whole bunch of not many know, people Kilgore there. Came first or Yale came first. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we drove on this dirt road for a good. Well, the dirt probably road two probably hours. lasted. The dirt road probably lasted 20 miles, but the rest of the roads, all together, about two hours to get to Medicine Lodge. Are, are you kind of chilly? No, I'm just liking. I'm just bouncing my knees. Bouncing, 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 bouncing. Started when I was young. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we went to the Medicine Lodge Creek, which is where I used to fish with my daddy when I was young. It's where I grew to love fishing. That's right. It's in the desert. It's a bit of a way out of the way, but we wanted to go there. Yeah, that's right. So rad. we pulled over. We let Reagan out. She ran around like a lunatic. She found some cow bones. We got the boys fishing, and within a few minutes, we both we had both boys with fishes on the line. That's right. And we spent what just an hour there. Yeah, I bet your dad was with us. You know getting us to catch those fish. And before we got that, I drove the truck with the trailer yep. for a good 27 minutes. And... Oh my gosh, oh there's my a freaking rabbit God, in camera. It's huge. Um, it looks like a bunny that Beth would have on her homestead. <laughs> it's got some white feet and some very long ears that's under our truck. Blimey. If he eats my trailer, Caitlin, I'm going to kill it. Um, tell the big about hole, Montana. Montana is gorgeous, just like Idaho. I, let's be honest, though, the most gorgeous parts of Montana are next to Idaho. So they're which makes you think same. that Idaho probably just made a bad deal at one point in its life. Maybe it should be called Idatana. Idatana. It That's could right. be or Monaho. Mon I like Monaho. Monaho is kind of like instead of the multi instead of the multiplication of hoes, it's just one hoe, like Monaho. Monaho. Anyways, maybe we could make uh, that. We went to the Big Hole River Valley, which is just absolutely stunning. The Big stunning. Hole River was big, really big, but not, it was clear, not little big. It really was, and there were some real nice. What you call them? Braiding. Braids. Braiding, not like hair braids, but like river braids. And so we yeah. camped there. The next day was supposed to be the nicest day. And so we went and floated the river, and it was just absolutely gorgeous. Took us a little bit to get going because we had to figure it out. But yeah. once we got the fish on with the San Juan worms, they were going. It was quite exciting. That's right. Yep, it was quite exciting. And there was one moment where Ben was nib. I mean, I don't know why I called you Ben. That was weird. Nib had oh, a fish God. on, and it was a little alarming. Our young, our our, our older younger. Let's just say we took to that fish about a quarter mile down the river. Yeah, it, it was something. There was some splashing, there was some wet popping and some ooh la la. And but it was a nice brown drop. It, it was a big old brown drop. Right. And then the next day we... Uh, it was rainy. It was super rainy. We took ourselves to a cold. place called Anaconda with a giant pipe. It's called smoke. a smelt stack. Smelt? Well, it's a smoke stack. Smoke it's a smelter. Stack. Yeah. Which is a huge, super fun site because all the arse make it put out. Yeah, it's God a bit of a problem. And then we went ourselves to uh, Jackson Hot Springs, which was a darling place. It's in the town of darling, Jackson, Wyoming, yes. which is in the middle of nowhere. Yes, and it was a lovely place. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I would totally go back there. It was a bit weirdo, and yeah, I like a bit weirdo. that's what we like. We like the weird. It was a good dose of weird and so i would say i would give it a five star just for that mm -hmm. we had a good we had a good soak in the springs in the rain which was fantastic and my ears were kind of chilly everything else was very hot yeah and then we also played some shuffleboard we ate some dinner we played some pool and then we it got back beautiful place. to our dog because we did not take her no. they they do not suggest dogs go in the hot springs but the big hole river was full of a lot of campfires we played football as a family oh that's right we had a meat pole going across a couple That's of right. pines, and we played football. And I then, would say uh, it was good. Very good. It was a great place. Oh, we I took some bike rides. People. We took some bike rides. Lovely sunset. Up we did not see many animals, but that is okay. I think they were there. We just they didn't were see there. Them. They were probably seeing us. They probably had their binoculars out looking at us. <laughs> yep. I would. I would live in the Big Hole River Valley. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous area. That's right. Full of cattle everywhere, and hay. And hay. And um, uh, then we moved from the big hole, we moved over to uh, up by Missoula, south of Missoula in Hamilton. That's where we were for the last... Oh, oh, don't tell him no more. Honey, where's my super suit? <laughs> <laughs> it's what'd you say? What'd you say? No, stop it. Honey, where's my super suit? 
bus suit. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> Honey, where's my super suit? What'd you say? Where is my super suit? Why do you need it? The public's in danger. My evening's in danger. <laughs> It is the Snake River Box Canyon, and the weather is pretty good. to get water, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna live off spring water. This dog inspires me. The Reagan dog was made for the wilderness. Okay, we are at Medicine Lodge. I don't know why it's called Medicine Lodge because I don't see a lodge and I don't see medicine. But it's basically a creek that Ben learned how to fish on and I drove some of the trailer here. I drove it for like 20 minutes. I went 50 miles per hour at one point. It was rather scary and I did start sweating. I would say I was just as scared of doing that than walking by the American Bison yesterday. <laughs> Got it, got it, got it, got it. 
You gotta keep current. Pull that line. Keep pulling that line. Yay! Let me see my babe. Your babe? Where's my babe? He hit the bottom fly. We didn't even know he hit it. We must. He must have been light. Yeah, a little rainbow. Not too bad, I can get that. Okay, we're in Montana. This is our location. Ben is up in the woods, being manly. What did you just catch? A bush. I caught a bush. What does a bead head look like? You got a fish. On the Big Hall River in Montana. Taking a video. What the heck? Oh That's huge. You almost fouled him, Dad. Aww. You almost. Thank you. That was a. I wonder how. I knew it was deep, but I didn't think it was that deep. Wonder... How deep is it? All the way up to here. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, don't get in my. Okay, we got a jack of fish. That's a good fish. <laughs> Another fish. That's right. And we're going to give you a little bit of a weather review. And the weather is pretty good. I'm going to say. Anyways, thank you very much for that sackle. Uh, and we'll see you next we week. We will see you next week. We are in a brand new location. That's right. And it is quite different than the rest. Don't tell them. It's not Hawaii, though. Bye-bye. <laughs>